Okay, so this is just a quick heads up because I'm noticing something. It is 5.03 in the p.m. on January 18th. And um, I'm noticing that things are starting to go back to normal now. Obviously, our lives aren't going back to normal. We still got to wear um, masks and do all this crap and this whole vaccine thing. But um, in terms of what we've all been put on hold since last March, all of a sudden things are starting to crank up. Um, last week I was in Walmart and I have gone to Walmart or the grocery store like tw you know, twice a week since this thing began, right? Wear my mask, do, well, wear another thing, Dan, I wear a And doing all the stuff I'm supposed to do, I used to wear gloves in the beginning, fine, whatever, but having a, since right before they made us lock down, at that time, I bought two cans of Lysol, the fake Walmart brand one, and I was glad that I did, because after that, I never saw it again. And I checked every time I went to the store. I always swung by, you know, the, 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 disinfecting stuff in the aisle. No Lysol. Aerosol spray, right? Because you need that. That's the thing that kills all the bad germs, including coronaviruses, because it was on there from before, because there are other coronaviruses besides COVID-19. And that would have killed it. If everybody had had Lysol all this time, you would have been able to properly clean the stuff in your home. You know what I mean? You would have been able to spray your shoes, spray your whatever, spray your purse. So any germs from that day would have been gone. And it wouldn't have spread in your house among your family or whatever. But there was no Lysol. And I complained about this on Twitter a few times, saying, where's the Lysol? Why can't they make Lysol back, way back, when they were like, oh, the president should force people, the factories, to make, you know, protective equipment. I'm like, yeah, I get them to make Lysol too. But... I never saw it. And I'd be like, where's the Lysol? Where's the Lysol? And you go to the website, the official Lysol website, and they'd be like, oh yeah, well, you know, COVID and whatnot. But they wouldn't act like there was any missing. And I was like, well, maybe all the hospitals are taking it. Maybe they're just making it for places like that. So I never saw it, right? Boom. Last week, after January 6th, there's Lysol sitting there at Walmart. So was the, what is it, 91% rubbing alcohol? You know, the red one, not the blue one? That hasn't been around either, and regular old blue al rubbing alcohol has been around. So in terms of cleaning germs or sanitizing anything you need to use, that was very difficult for this whole time. Now, these are things that I would have normally bought just to be clean, just so when I clean up, I know the germs are gone in the house or I used to bring around a little, you know, those little squirter bottles that you buy for like a dollar. I would fill one with rubbing alcohol and I would take it with me to, so if I went to Wendy's or Walmart, wherever, in case I need to use the bathroom or anything where all the germs are, it just clean stuff. But this stuff wasn't on the shelves. So under normal circumstances, I would have been cleaning it, disinfecting things way more than I've been able to for the past nine, ten months, you know? And so I've been very aware of this because, like I said, I'm not germaphobe, germaphobe, but there's germs in this world. And if you're going to be where the people are and touching stuff, which they never told people to keep using gloves. Anyway, the stuff wasn't there. Now it's there. Now today... I have had the internet essentials because I don't have money. I didn't have money before, so before this, I didn't even have the internet. Once in a great while, if I thought I needed it, I would like pay for like a week or something, but I was using the library. I would go to the library every day, but you know, when everything was closed, I was just sitting here in the beginning of being locked down, not doing anything. Then I ended up applying for the internet essentials, which before I wasn't able to get it. But I guess because everything went bad, I was able to apply for that now and get it. So I was really far behind on that bill because it come it's 
with the cable. The cable I just have basic cable. You know, and I thought they were going to cut me off a long time ago, and it was really far behind. And then last month, they're like, if you don't pay some of this bill, we're going to cut you off. So, because I had got that stimulus, I paid, I think it was the stimulus, or was the other thing. Anyway, I had a little bit of money, so I said, let me pay, you know, this really, really overdue part that was like $100. And let me pay it, because I need this. You know, because I, I had been trying to sell things on eBay just to scrape by and get money. If I didn't have the internet, that's it, you know. So, I said, let me pay this because I have this little bit of money now before, you know. So, I paid it. And I'm like, okay, phew. Now, it's supposed to be, I paid not the whole thing, but I paid the big pass due amount, which, like I said, was like $100. So, the new charges were like $30 or whatever. I go on today because... So I left the thirty dollars off, right? I go on today just to say, cause the new part was supposed to be due. So I said, let me just pay, cause I still had a little bit. I said, let me pay this so nothing happens, you know, so it doesn't get too far behind. I go on to the um, to the website, you know, and it says if you don't pay this part that I intended to pay. You're going to get disconnected on the 18th. Today's 18th. The email they sent me didn't say I was going to get disconnected. The bill, the paper bill, because I still get paper bills, the paper bill didn't say I was, it said, oh, you might get a late fee. But when I went with the intention to pay it today, which I'm not paying it ahead, but I'm paying it, you know, the past due amount like you would under normal circumstances. And it was like, they were going to cut it off today. And if I didn't pay it today, but nobody said that. And I'm like, why is everything suddenly ramping up again? Like, everything's kicking up again. Like, 2020 didn't happen. And, you know, I know that some things are going to expire. And we got a new president coming in. But you have, if you've noticed, all the governors who shut us all down and ruined everybody's lives... All of a sudden, in this past week, they all want to now open up. Even though it's been impossible to open up all this time, according to them, now, boom, they want to open up again. And it's like, wait a minute. We've been sitting here, you know, oh, no, you can't go out get sick. People can't go to restaurants. People can't do this. People can't do that because of the spread of the virus. You can't do these things. Everybody got to stay home. Everybody can, And every time you turn around, oh, there's going to be a Christmas bump, and there's a Thanksgiving bump, and... Oh my God, the, every day they're telling you the numbers, telling you the numbers. As far as I can tell, nothing in those numbers, nothing has really changed to make their attitude about opening up change. But all of a sudden, oh no, we got to open up. Because economically, it's going to be, economically, everybody's been being ruined. Why now, suddenly, there's nothing has changed on the, yes, there is a vaccine. Come to find out a couple days ago, there's no stockpile. If there's no stockpile, everybody's not vaccinated, which, like I said, I don't want it. But if that's supposed to be what was going to allow, that's, that hasn't happened yet. People have not gotten vaccinated. A small number of people maybe got one dose. They don't even have enough maybe for the second dose. I would love to know what's going to happen to people that get half, like, we got one dose, not the second dose. Who's to say that won't trigger something worse because you're supposed to get to, I mean, everything's a nightmare mess right now, but the only thing that's different is in two days, there's going to be another president. And coincidentally, in the last week before there's going to be another president, we can, everything's starting to kick back up again, everything's starting to be like, there's no more grace periods, there's no more, um, what do you call it? moratoriums on evictions and things like all of a sudden it's like they're just going to kick the lights on and start the machines running and everything's just going to all of a sudden out of the clear blue and everybody who's been in limbo is suddenly supposed to be able to run with everybody else and hit the ground running and be like okay let's just all go back and do everything like before and we can't people have been People have been 
sidelined in such a way, they can't just go back. They can't just recover. They can't just, those jobs gone for the people who had them. For the rest of us, we're so screwed up by everything that happened. If you just expect us to act like there's been money all this time and things have been without any fair warning telling us this could go on forever and everybody's going to have to get vaccinated and there may be this and, there, and then just one day we're like, oh, oh no, forget it, let's all go back to normal. Oh no, let, just open everything up. The restaurants and everything going to open up because boom. I mean, we should all, I mean, we probably do, I was going to say we should all, we probably do have brain damage from all the back and forth and jerking everybody around that they've been doing. You know, I, I mean, the people who have kids in school, I don't even know how they've done it with the, okay, go to school, no, go home. No, you know what, online learning. Okay, wait a minute, maybe not. And now all, it really seems like without them saying it, they're all going to be like, okay, we expect you to act like nothing ever happened. Pay all your bills, have a bunch of money, we're going to cut all these programs, we're going to not extend all this stuff. You better be ready to hit the ground running. And I swear that's what's happening right now. And it's scary as hell because it's like having people just waiting around for a bus or something to go. And then all of a sudden they're like, to go across country or something, and they're all like, suddenly like, why aren't you at your destination? Why aren't you ready to go? And I feel like that's what's happening right now. Like suddenly they're going to expect everybody, okay, all these bills are come due. Oh, did we not warn you? Oh, well, you knew it could happen any time. Or, oh, well, there's a new president, so everything's better. Just because Joe Biden is going to be in office, that means all the bad things stopped happening. Because there, I guess some people associate all the bad with Donald Trump. So if Donald Trump goes away, everything's all better. Everything's not all better. What had just happened for the past year has had permanent, lasting, damaging effects on people. I don't know how this economy kept going. It doesn't make any sense. I know it's because the banks and those kind of people still were able to make more money, so the ultra-rich were able to make even more money. But I still thought for an economy to work that people, poor people, had to buy. Poor people had to get on planes and get on trains and, you know, go to hotels so if the person who owns a hotel made money in stocks or something, because I don't know, but so their personal bank account has money in it, that doesn't mean the hotel's doing all right, does it? Aren't these industries still, you know, I, I know we couldn't count on the media to inform us because their whole thing, they've been behind us anyway they they don't know what's going on either because all they talked about was the election election and then after that all they talked about was election fraud if there is or isn't or what trump lies trump lies or whatever so if they just start trying to expect people to just go back to normal because in their world nothing really changed except they had to do zoom meetings everybody else's world completely changed you know, the rest of the people who don't get up, be a legislator, and, you know, talk to people on the phone, and then go to bed, and then start all over again, and have somebody else buy your food, and somebody else make your food, and somebody else comb your hair. You know, the people who didn't have those luxuries, which is most people, like, really most people, business owners, people who didn't have anything, Homeless people, unemployed people, people who had half a job, people who were let go because they weren't in the service industry, people who maybe worked for an airline as a baggage handler. I mean, there are a million people who totally were shut down by this. And if you now just expect all those people to just be up and running again, because that, like I said, that happened to me just now. I'm like, what do you mean you're going to... I mean, if I knew... That'd be one thing, but no bill that came to me said we're going to cut you off. It was like I was supposed to know. And like I said, everything suddenly is going to just poof. Oh, well, we have a new president, so everything's fine now. Act like nothing happened. 
I mean, I'm worried about my own life. I've known the way things have gone, and I, this is my life was already a complete hot mess. But whatever ha that chance I had was ruined by the extended lockdowns. It shouldn't have affected me. It did, because I didn't have anything to start with. But it still screwed me up, and the small chance I had is pretty much gone. I don't know what's going to happen to me in the future. All this time, I've been hanging on. There was a point where I was literally looking all over the place for pennies to cash them, where I was digging, digging, look, do I have any gold anywhere, you know, trying to see if they buy silver, which they, this lady was going to give me one dollar for a silver ring, a silver band. I mean, at a pawn shop. I was going day by day by day, and it, you can't plan long term. Especially when you don't know what they're doing. And now all of a sudden, it's like, hurry, move, let's go, let's go, let's go, hurry up, hurry up. If they're really doing that, just because they got with it, because their whole thing was to get this new president, was to get the Democrat to be president. And so now they're, they're like, mission accomplished, let's go back to normal. I don't think my brain's going to take it. Because I know <laughs> I'm screwed up. But I know I'm not the only person. I know there's a lot of people. And it's not being reported. Or if it is reported, the news media aren't going to catch wind until mass huge crap happens. Because they don't understand. Just like when there were mass huge lines for um, food banks, they were shocked. Years, a couple years back when people were in serious trouble if the government shut down because people didn't have enough to last for two weeks, the news media was shocked. The way this country has held on for a year has been almost amazing. And then people have, I don't know what they've done. I don't know what a lot of people have done. But all the people who aren't in the system, they try to get them into the system. But still, there's so many people who, how do you go back when the world isn't back? How do you do what you did before? However you hustled, however you did, how do you go back? They're not ready to help us. They're not ready to take care of people. I'm actually scared. I don't like to be scared. I don't like to suffer. But the fact that that happened and I had no idea. Because I've been trying to, you know, like I said, okay, I need $5 for this, I need $20, I can let that bill wait, and I know a lot of people have been doing that, but to, if you don't even know when you have to, have to, have to pay something by, and it's just going to be like, alright, boom, give us all the money, or... I'm really nervous, I'm really scared. Because the only thing I've had is like trying to shuffle dates and numbers in my head. And that really freaked me out a little bit. You know, it shook me up. And I've been seeing them talk about it. They're only vaguely talking about, oh, what about the moratoriums on it? I mean... I don't know... What could, I mean, I, I, I got a good imagination. I don't know what could happen here. I don't know. I mean. I'm, I'm really befuddled, okay? I'm flabbergasted because it's clear that once they had the president they wanted, they figured they could, how is it going to go back to normal? How is it going to go back to normal where a bunch of things break in? I don't, have they taken, if, whatever their plans are, do they know this or is this something they don't realize? Is, is this part of the plan? I, I I don't know. I'm really just like, I was already worried, and but now I'm just like, I'm 
just gobsmacked, as they say. I just, I don't know. Because I thought I knew what I was doing. Not, I mean, there's still things that could happen to me in any second, you know, because of bills that are just, but when it's stuff you hadn't thought of, when it was something you think, oh, that's okay, you know, and you think you're paying, you're not ahead, but before, you know, they send you something, say they're going to cut it off, and then they just say, oh, if you hadn't paid it today, we're going to cut it off. I mean, <laughs> that's how they would behave a year ago, you know, when there was no pandemic yet, when there was no... So if they've taken away all those protections without telling people, I didn't get anything, I didn't see anybody say, okay, well, all those um, things about, you know, utilities and stuff like that, I guess they stopped doing it because I noticed that from paying the bills when you go to the website, it's like they no longer were giving people grace periods and stuff like that, but it's like they didn't say it like they did when it started, and they didn't say it was only until, you know, the end of the year or September or whenever. It was just like, guess. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of messed up. And I'm more worried than I was before. And I try not to worry because I know there's so little I can do. But I was trying to do something. I was trying to at least keep uh, tabs on what's going on. It's like, I can't keep tabs if nobody says anything to me. I can't know what's going on behind my back or what I'm not being informed of. You know, if you're not telling me, you know, like, surprise, Mickey Ficky, you know, <laughs> you can't, what are you supposed to do? I mean, it's the shock of it, you know, I, this world is cruel beyond cruel. I don't know. I was totally different thinking about worrying about civil wars breaking out and all this other stuff not surprise stuff like that so if they're gonna do that if anybody's gonna do that just all of a sudden be like okay ready set go boom be back to normal because we can be because we are millionaires and we have no concept of how the 99% live I don't know what to do I don't know what to think, but I'm try to calm down the best of my ability. All right. Talk to you later.